Hey guys, Greenfly here. Happy New Year. It is 2023. Hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas. Um, so I had a good one and uh, yeah, Happy New Year guys. Hope you guys have a good year this year. Um, I know quite a few, it's not exactly been fantastic, but hey, you've got ups and downs. What are you going to do? But yeah, hope you have guys some awesome goals this year. The other thing that I also remember is it's the year of the rabbit. Yes, it's the year of the rabbit. I can't even remind it because I've been playing uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and one of the recent Pokemon the kind of thing that is an event was uh, I think it was Skull Bunny? Skull Bunny. Skull Bunny? I think it's Skull Bunny. I think it's Skull Bunny. But the reason they picked it is because it's the year of the rabbit which is quite clever. It's quite clever. So let's use that as the main theme. A rabbit. But we'll also throw in something else in there as well that we're going to draw. I think that will be quite fun. It's a little start thing. The first art piece of this year. I'm looking forward to it. So what I did is I went to the machine that we've got. It's in the back. That's the wrong side. That machine over there, you guys know what it is. It is the gumball machine slash it's got kind of random stuff that I put in. You know, I can't actually remember what I've put in it. There's been quite a few things over the years. So yeah, that should be quite fun to do. And what are the ones that I got? Well, let me tell you, the ones that I got where we got, so I just say, let's do three different ones. That could be quite fun. So the ones we got was Hamburger. Yeah, that was the first one we got. Hamburger. Uh, the next one we got after that was Snake Lady. Hmm, okay, that's going to be interesting how we're going to put that in with Rabbit theme. And then the next bit is Bones. Hmm. So yeah, the three themes that we've got is Hamburger, Snake Lady, and Bones. So yeah, that should be quite fun. I uh, don't know how I'm going to put those, but that's the three things we've got. But the main thing we have to incorporate is the rabbit. It is the main thing while also putting in these other things. So yeah, that should be fun. Let's uh, let's start these three different drawings and uh, let's see how we get on. I'm actually looking forward to this. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, I've got so many more things to go. So let's dive into it, shall we? So the first thing that we have is hamburger. And I had to really think about this, where I was going to go. But it actually turned out not to think about it too much. I actually ended up going, well, what is hamburger relating to? What's the first thing that actually pops into my head? The fast food industry. Oh yes, that is the first thing that popped into my head on what to do with the hamburger theme. Because obviously I've got to combine it with the rabbit. That's the ultimate, that's the whole thing. That's This is the whole stick of this video, you know? So I decided, let us draw a rabbit that is in the uniform of a fast food employee, but is also having to wear this ridiculously large hamburger, I guess would it be hat or mask or something, on their head. And it's pretty much outside having to give out flyers to people walking by the street, you know, those people that kind of have to stand, give out things and stuff like that. You know, you've kind of seen it in like TVs and movies and stuff like that. They just look ridiculous and it's very, very demoralizing a little bit when you're having to stand there and give out leaflets. So this is where I decided to kind of go with this and I actually thought this was actually probably the best way to go about it. I could have gone any other ways, but I thought this was quite a clever way to have the rabbit working in the fast food industry, giving out flyers for this fast food restaurant that come, come all for our tasty burgers. Okay, so the next theme we are working with is Bones. Okay, so I decided when I was trying to think on how I was going to get this to work, and it did, this is the one thing that popped in my head. Um, I was actually watching some videos, stuff like I want to try to think of an idea for it, and the thing that I realised was, wait a minute, one of the videos I watched was Minecraft, I went, wait a minute, there was a bunny that you can either spawn, I don't know how you spawn it, but it goes after the player. Yes, there is a bunny that can go after the player and attack it. Unfortunately, it doesn't do that much damage, but the fact that they've put it in the game is such a thing my idea. So I decided, well, why not have a bunny that literally attacks people? 
and what you're pretty much seeing, I had to say, the jaw was draw a pile of bones of the victims that it has developed. Oh, this is a lovely scene, isn't it? But I was trying to think of how I was going to make bones and a rabbit. I thought of trying to think of a few things, but I think this was the best thing that I could really think of. I also tried to do a large amount of bones, but then I realised that would have took quite a lot of time. <laughs> quite a lot of time, so I decided to adjust the size a little bit and work on the Roar of the Wall Bunny in general. Make him like, he's got those red eyes, like the Minecraft kind of character. Bunny like, that's, that's, what, that's how you know it's evil, it's got red eyes. It's like white and red eye. That's what I was trying to go off of. Right, we are now on the final theme. Snake Lady. That is what it said. I can't remember who was the person that suggested this, but thank you. This is going to be... This was very interesting because I was like, right, how in the hell am I going to put Snake Lady and Rabbit? The thing that got me to think about what how I was going to approach this was, why don't I have that the Snake Lady or Snake Woman is pretty much in an organisation? And the organization's main theme is rabbits. I don't know why that is the thing of it, but I thought, well, that would be quite, you know, I think that would be pretty cool. And I kind of decided, well, I should try and make it look, um, you can definitely tell it's a bunny, but I had to try and make it into a mask, but I wanted to also kind of make it futuristic as well. So between of there's the, you know, you get classic lady of like Medusa. Medusa has got like the bow and shoots like the people that are trying to get her. I took that inspiration but turned those bows, adults into energy adults. And I made the mask and the armor that she is wearing into something that looks like it's almost a bit cyberpunky but also a bit of like a very weird organization that is very fast, they strike hard, and before you know it, they've got you. You never knew what hit you. That's how I thought that's how I put this together. So yes, this is the best thing I could really think of. And if I'm gonna be honest, I was really, really happy with the results of this. I think this actually turned out really, really good. Um, but um I this was definitely took me a while to come up with the idea for this. It was not easy, I was trying to think of a few other things, but I think overall this was probably the best thing that I can think of for this. Um, it was really cool. I really enjoyed doing this one actually. I think I spent a bit more time on this one than the other two. I'm going to be honest with you, I let the time get away from me. <laughs> I always try and set myself a set amount of time to work on each bit. You know, I try to not go crazy because I could probably work on it and work on it and work on it. But you know, you've got to work on one, then you've got to move on to other things. the heck, I've got more stuff to make, you know, that year. Anyway, this was the Snake Lady wearing a rabbit mask in a secret organization. So there you guys have it. Three drawings with the year of the rabbit. And I actually really enjoyed this. This was really cool. I know I say that a lot, but I, I do enjoy this. If I was to pick which one I think worked overall, the one I actually enjoyed the most, is probably the last one I did with the snake lady in the mask because I really had to think of how I was going to do that one. That one was actually a bit of a challenge. Then at the end, I kind of thought, well, why not have it like I kind of said, uh, she's kind of like the secret kind of organization or something like that with the mask. And I thought that would actually turn out pretty well. And I actually really liked that one the most. Rabbit dressed as a hamburger employee, pretty much. And obviously like a fast food kind of restaurant. And as unfortunately as having to wear this agnoxious giant hat mask thing, I guess. And it's having to give it flyers. Then we pretty much have the rabbit that is... I kind of got the idea pretty much from, like I said, from Minecraft. Um, because in Minecraft you can get this thing made bunny that pretty much wants to try and get go for you. Which, I can't remember how exactly you do it again, but I know it's a thing. That was how I got to get the game the idea. With the bones and all not. But what do you guys think? What do you guys think overall with these three designs? Which direction would you have gone? Have you drawn anything of for Year of the Rabbits? 
Hopefully this year is a better year for us all and I hope to be doing some really cool things in the future this year. I've got some really cool ideas I think you guys will enjoy but until we then, I'll see you guys next time. This is Foolish, I'm Greenfly, thank you guys so much for watching and yeah, till next time, I'll see you guys later.